It is inspiration and company for anyone who's ever felt trapped by failed relationships, depression, addiction. Our next guest is from Framingham, and decades ago she had an epiphany that maybe can help you as well. Mal Duane, thanks for being here. We appreciate it. Thank you. So your book, you have a book, and it is called Alpha Chick, and you say after years of depression and alcoholism, you had this epiphany and that now you are an alpha chick. What does that mean? Shannon, any woman can be an alpha chick. And what it means is that we are an awakened, authentic, and abundant woman. What does that mean? That we tap into a higher consciousness, we know and love ourselves for exactly the way we are, and we are the deliberate creators of our own experience in our lives. You make it sound easy, but it's not easy necessarily to do it. How, how did you, when you say you had an epiphany, how, how did this come about? At my lowest moment, when I felt I didn't have any choices, there were no options, and I was really looking at death, I heard a voice that I had never heard before. And it was that divine guidance that I talk about that told me I would recover, I had a wonderful life ahead of me, but I had work to do, and I had lessons to learn. So how did you begin to turn things around at that point? I know a lot, you know, a lot of women out there might be watching this, and, and maybe if they didn't even experience things to that extent, they felt some of this before. So how do you begin to turn things around at that point? I started with a daily practice of meditation, prayer, and journaling. And through that process, I discovered the five steps that I write about in the book. Tell us about the five steps, because you say that it's, it's five steps to becoming an alpha chick. Yes. And that's a whole section of the book. Yes. What are these five steps? They spell faith, believe it or not, mm -hmm. which is kind of interesting. Yeah. And the first one is focus. That wasn't intentional? They just happened to spell faith? They spell faith. That's what my <laughs> divine guidance gave uh, me. Okay. All right. Uh, they, so the, the first one is focus, meaning that we go within to find our answers. We're not looking out of ourselves for validation. The second one is acceptance. We have to accept our lives for just the way they are. We can't rewrite the script. Mm -hmm. Stop resisting. Okay. The third step is to identify our self-sabotaging behaviors mm -hmm. and set new intentions, which are powerful, to start doing things that support us in our life. Thoughts, positive thinking, so important. And the last one is healing and helping. So once we are healed and we know that we're standing in our power and we're strong and we're self-loving, we need to turn and give it away and go and help others. Mm. And that reinforces your own strength and your ability to move forward in life. It can be hard, and this is one of the things you talk about in your book, in terms of the societal expectations that are placed, particularly on women, uh, not only you know years ago, but now more and more these days. How, how do you begin to sort of deal with that and still keep your sense of self? Media is very hard on women. They set us up that, you know, we need the perfect body, we need the perfect dress, we need the perfect handbag right. and shoes. It has nothing to do about anything that's outside of us. Our true identity and strength comes all from within. It's that self-love, which what I tell women is an inside job. You're not going to find your validation from somebody out else out there. It needs to come from within. Well, the book is called Alpha Chick, and there is a website, alphachick.com, right? Yes. All right, Mount Dwayne, thank you so much for being here. We appreciate your time. Thank you. It's All been right. a pleasure. Thank you.